first tonight, new details in a breaking news story. We brought you on Action News at 5. The family of the person who was found dead after a fire yesterday morning is identifying him as this man, 22-year-old Taylor Meek. Welcome to 13 Minutes of Nonstop News. I'm Diane Larson. And I'm Lee Conklin. The Lucas County Coroner says Meek died of multiple stab wounds and blunt force trauma to the head. His body was discovered after a wicked fire at his apartment yesterday. Those flames breaking out around 7 o'clock yesterday morning near Consol and Berger. 13 ABC's Amy Montgomery live downtown at police headquarters with the very latest on the investigation and reaction from the family. Amy. Finding out that a friend or family member has died is painful enough, but now those closest to Meek are dealing with the news that he was murdered. They admit that he had made some mistakes in his life, but say he didn't deserve to die like this. It's, it's hard to take, you know what I'm saying? He had to go through this, and, and I know he was screaming for help, and I couldn't be there for my son. So, that's what bothers me. Richard Ragland says he knew something wasn't right when he found out his oldest son, 22-year-old Taylor Meek was found dead after a fire. We uh, figured that he wouldn't just lay there and die in the fire. We figured it was more to the story. And there was. Tuesday, the Lucas County Coroner told 13 ABC Meek was stabbed multiple times and appeared to have been beaten. Well, he's a young man, and uh, he didn't bother nobody. He's a funny dude. You know, a lot of people like him. Sure, he did the wrong thing in his life, but everybody has. But nobody deserves to go out like this. Raglan says his son had been living here since April and was working on fixing up the apartment. But all that's left are charred window frames and furniture and a growing memorial. I was so proud of him that he got his own place and becoming a man. I wish nobody, nobody else never has to go through this pain because I, I, don't, I don't know how to deal with it. Many people in the neighborhood were shocked to learn that a young man lost his life, especially at the hands of someone else. You don't expect that now, you know, when you live here all these years, everything's good. So I never expected that. Police have not named or arrested any suspects. Meek's family hopes investigators can track them down so they can get some answers. Hopefully justice will be served and, and the people that did this to my son, you know what I'm saying, they'll, they'll get what's coming to them. Toledo police say that if you have any information about the circumstances surrounding Meek's death, to give Crime Stopper a call. Reporting live downtown, Amy Montgomery, 13 ABC, Action News.